Hi, and welcome to this three minute review of the Namco Legacy Edition Arcade 1UP. This is an absolutely beautiful cab. I mean, that side art is amazing. And then I'll kind of show you guys the front here. It uh, looks super old school, super classic. Uh, it matches the original Pac-Man design. Uh, and some people don't like the riser, but I actually like that the riser is a little bit differentiated. I think plain yellow uh, would, would look uh, a little bit boring. So I kind of like that you have that game on the riser there. The deck itself is is really awesome. The button presses feel solid and good. The joystick's great. The game selection itself is great. Um, I mean, Galaga's a classic. Dig Dug's a classic. Maps, Mappy's a classic. There's a lot of are really great uh, games on here. They're a lot of fun. Uh, that said, um, Pac-Man is so fun that uh, my, my wife and I mostly just play uh, Pac-Man. So if you're looking to get a Pac-Man cab uh, and you prefer Ms. Pac-Man, uh, even though that only has three or four games on it, uh, I'd say go for it um, because you're probably just going to play Ms. Pac-Man on it. <laughs> so in our case, um, you know, I'd say that the, the game value, uh, it, it is great because there's a lot of games on here and, and they're fun. Uh, but for us specifically, the value wasn't there as much on this cabinet since all we play is Pac-Man. Uh, the screen quality uh, is excellent. Um, the sound quality is excellent. Can't can't complain at all um, about you know the general uh, experience of playing the game. Outside of sometimes, it seems like inputs don't register in Pac-Man specifically. Um, so we'll go to like you know hitting up or a left or or whatever it is. Um, and sometimes the, the game just fails to register that input in, entirely. Uh, and I don't know if that's an emulation thing. I don't know if it's an execution thing. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, great game experience, great Pac-Man experience. It's kind of hard to see it through the camera, but uh, everything looks really fuzzy. And at first it was frustrating for me that the, uh, the games themselves all looked fuzzy too. Uh, but essentially you can see that you have the uh, game settings menu if you press player two. Sorry for the wobbling here. I got to get a, a, a better uh, easel for this. But uh, if I hold the options for Pac-Man here, you're going to see pixel smoothing. Uh, if you have pixel smoothing on, it adds this weird fuzzy effect that just looks awful. Um, but you can go in and turn pixel smoothing off for all the games, uh, which, which uh, so far has been... Um, uh, a lifesaver for this cabinet. I would have been really upset with this purchase if, if it was always fuzzy and I couldn't turn that off. But overall, this is an awesome cabinet. It looks great. Uh, the, the iconic kind of old school Pac-Man machine looks awesome on it. Uh, my wife and I love playing this cabinet. We, we are super competitive in Pac-Man and, and Super Pac-Man. Uh, but that said, Pac-Man is so good that I don't find myself playing too much of the rest of the lineup. Um, so if you like Ms. Pac-Man better, the Ms. Pac-Man cabinet might be a good option for you since you'll probably just be playing Pac-Man on that cabinet, um, which has been the case for us here. We, again, mostly play Pac-Man. Um, still love the look, um, love the game lineup. What little I have played of the rest of the games, they are really cool. Um, control scheme's great. Um, form factor's great. Uh, but again... If, if I could do it again, I may have gone for the Miss Pac-Man cabinet, uh, given how little we play the other games on, on this cab.